Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I've seen many videos regarding fruit circuits. Some say you can generate power and some say you can't. Well, I want to test it myself. A hypothesis if we can generate enough power to light up an LED light bulb and if yes, how many fruits are required. For this experiment, the materials I have used are lemons or limes, I mean you can use both, alligator clips, galvanized nail, you can you should not use stainless steel or, or else I won't work, copper wire, you can use pennies too because they're both copper, multimeter to check the voltage and also don't forget LED light bulbs. To begin with I have rolled all the fruits to make sure the juice is released inside. Then I have inserted a nail and copper wire into the fruit. The nail behaves as negative and copper wire as positive. Using algae clips I have connected fruits. The pattern is connect positive node to negative and negative node to positive to make a circuit. The ends you will connect to the LED light bulb. A simple circuit will look like this. As you can see with two lemons we could not light up the LED. We could light up the bulb with three limes but Here's the problem. It was really dull, but it still worked. We did this experiment with lemons too. Here are the, some pictures. Here is the data table of how much voltage we were able to generate. I did the same experiment with non citric fruits mm -hmm. like bananas. It did not work. So the conclusion of my experiment is that we can light up an LED bulb with a fruit circuit. And also that limes compared to lemons can slightly produce more charge than lemons. I hope you liked this video. If you tried this experiment at home, please let me know about your experience and experiment. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos and leave me a comment down below.